Good afternoon, Chennai. Wouldn't be nice to never, never, never look for clients again. Because they are all looking for you, they all searching for you, and they all want to work with you. And you have hard time serving all of them because your agenda is full and your client base is exponentially growing. When I was started my training, coaching, and speaking business, I didn't know this could be my reality. In fact, I was taught that in order to get and obtain clients, you have to cold call them. You have to send them proposals. You have to send them brochures and DVDs. And you have to spend a lot of money on promotion and advertisement. And I didn't know this could be true, that, that my clients will be looking after me and my agenda will be so full that I have no space more for another speaking engagement for the whole year ahead or sometimes too. We are all here because we know that there is something special in us, yes? That there are some gifts we want to share with the world, yes? That we deserve the best life for us, yes? And so this was my dream too. I used to be an engineer. <laughs> and I was running my engineering company, but, some, but then I had an experience that touched my heart so deeply that I wanted to go out to the, in the world and speak to people. I wanted to inspire people to live their best lives. I knew there is a message in me that has to be get out of me. I knew that people do need help of people like me and you. Educators, teachers, entrepreneurs, speakers, trainers. But the moment I started my business, I got my biggest problem. I was born and raised in the Soviet Union. And in the Soviet Union, we were taught that you have to be perfect in everything you are doing. Because Soviet Union tried to make an impression for the whole world that it is perfect. So I established the belief system that in order to be successful in life and in business, I have to be perfect. I have to be a perfect speaker. I have to be a perfect trainer. I have to be a perfect mentor. I have to be a perfect leader. And I tried to be perfect. Perfect meaning my life has to be perfect. My vibe has to be perfect that would keep the house in order and cook delicious food every day, walking in hills, having a face from Cosmopolitan and a body from Playboy and be a queen in the bed. <laughs> perfect means my children have to be perfect. They have to wear, the, they have to keep care of themselves, never get dirty and eat all the vegetables. I must drive the perfect car, the only leader drive. Nothing can be out of order in my life. My body has to be perfect. I don't need an alarm. I swing out of bed at 5 a.m. doing my physical exercise before I go to the restroom because I am perfect. I have to wear an Armani suit all the time. I have to walk the dog in Armani suit. I would always tie myself up straight because in case you see me, you see the real leader in me because real leaders, they always have they tied up straight. And my shoes have always to shine 
even in the rain. <laughs> Everything has to be perfect in my life. And I tried hard. I spent a lot of effort and energy trying to impress people that my life is perfect. And I did that because I wanted to manage your perception of me, one of power, one of respect. And I would never let people learn the true me. And it didn't work. I will go up to a Toastmaster, uh, to a public speaking club, to stay in front of the room and speak, and I would have no money to feed myself. But you would never notice this because everything in my life looked perfect. First six months in business, I didn't earn money. But I was staying in front of the room, I was jumping, I was yelling, I was crying, I was inspiring people how to live the prosperous life, how to be successful, fulfilled, and had another penny for the way home back tonight. And I saw so that, that the louder I cry, the louder I inspire people, the more people would go after me. I was sometimes putting people down, giving them feedback, later to realize I was only doing this for me to feel better. Nobody wanted to work with me. Nobody wanted to hire me to speak in their corporations. Nobody even wanted to invite me to another public speaking club meeting. But one day, after delivering my perfect speech, a guy approached me and asked, Mikola, could you be my mentor? <laughs> yes, I was waiting for this for weeks. I wanted to teach people. I wanted to mentor people. Even my business card at that moment was saying, mentor. <laughs> and we went to a cafe, and I was mentoring my mentor how to deliver a perfect talk, how to make a perfect impression on the audience, how to wear the perf perfect suit. And then the bill came. <laughs> and I sit in with my mentee, and I have no money for the coffee or tea. And with all that, I still was believing I need to be perfect. In my mind, I realized I need to find a perfect teacher. I need to find a perfect, successful person. And with my broken account, selling the last piece of property I had, I flew over to the United States to Jack Canfield, the speaker from the movie The Secret. And I knew he will teach me how to be extremely perfect. An hour, the, an hour before the event started, I'm by the door. The moment the doors open, I'm in front room, sitting before him. My life is about to be perfect. And then he starts to speak. And what came out of his mouth blew my mind. He said, my 70 years old son is struggling with drugs. And I'm looking for the ways to help him. Ten minutes later, he says, I'm married for a short time. And I'm now working on myself to make this marriage my final one. An hour later, he says that he is struggling with his overweight for years. I flew all the way overseas. I sold my car. I borrowed money to learn from him how to be perfect. And he told me all the ways that made him imperfect. <laughs> and then something even more stranger happened. I realized I started to love him. 
All of a sudden, it doesn't matter what suit he was wearing, what shoes he has on. And at this moment, I realize he is be my teacher for the lifetime. I realize I came over to him not to see his perfection, but to see his power of transparency. And that's when at this moment I learned the lesson. And when I, lear when I allow myself to open up and to be who I am, all of a sudden, applying this law, my business grew from $5,000 that year to $60,000 next year to $100,000 to $500,000 and to close to $1 million last year doing what I love to do. All of a sudden, my brand expanded to 55 countries on four continents. I cannot share with you what I've done in all these years, but I can share with you as much as I can in these 18 minutes. The reason for my success is called the law of transparency. The law of transparency says when you are real, when you are sincere, when you are who you are, without trying to pretend, without wearing the masks, you allow yourself to become vulnerable. But becoming vulnerable, we create intimacy between us. And intimacy leads to trust. And trust is what people are looking for when they're looking for friends, partners, and business partners. In my seminars, we do an exercise when people working in pairs, sharing their secrets. And after 30 minutes or so, I ask people to raise their hands if they trust the person more. Almost everybody raised their hand. People say, this person sitting in front of me is the person I trust the most in the room. The law of transparency is easy to understand. However, it's hard to implement. For most people, becoming transparent means stepping out of their comfort zone. And people are afraid. Then when they share themselves, then when people see who they really are, they will be rejected. People won't love them anymore. And they will stay alone. Now most people choose to wear the masks and pretend who they are not. And they stay alone in the masks. But you have to realize, pretending drains your energy. Being yourself doesn't require any energy, but pretending does. It's very similar to a ball. If you would take it and put it under the water, a ball wants to jump out of the water. And to keep it under the water, you have to spend energy. The same with the truth. The more truth you hide, the more balls you have under the water. And in one moment in, one moment in life, one can arrive to, to the situation where all your energy is spent on keeping and protecting the truth. And there is no energy left to create the life of your dream. And please understand me correctly. Who you are is awesome. Just speak after me. Who I am is awesome. What I did so far is awesome. Thank you. But we all need some improvements. Do we? Yes. Say. And I can use some improvements. And it's really worth to take the risk. Because when you do, when you do, 
all of a sudden, everything in your life will change. All of a sudden, you realize you know your dad better. You know your sister much better. Because you trusted them to get transparent. You trusted yourself to be transparent in the relationship. All of a sudden, you realize that the rich is not in the bank. The rich is in your transparent relationship. When we become transparent, we attract transparent people in our life. When you transparent, the chances are you love yourself more. And so you have a more healthy life. The easiest way to grow business and to grow in a career is to open up more. And if I don't like anything about myself, the first step is to accept what I don't like about myself. We can only change and improve what we accept about ourselves. Your client will recommend you because they trust you. In my seminars and trainings, I have over 100% enrollment in my other programs because the only thing I do with my clients, I open up for them. Over 50% of my clients coming now from YouTube, where I have over 2 million videos, and I share myself freely. A client came to me and said, Mikola, you know what? I found your video on YouTube. I watched your video. I listened to what you are saying. And now I'm here because I trust you and I want more of you. A friend of mine, a very famous psychotherapist in Russia, shared a story with me. A story of Soviet soldier coming back home from the battlefield in Afghanistan. And he said, the biggest difference the Soviet soldiers saw when at home at peace that on the battlefield nobody is wearing the masks. Also they were geared, they were protected. No one wears the mask. And when they came home, it looks like people have the whole lifetime in front of them to become transparent and authentic. And this is maybe the reason why 20 years later, Soviet soldiers still are friends. They call each other. They support each other. And they celebrate birthdays together because they see each other without the masks. And so my questions to you, are you going to live the life as if you don't know if tomorrow will come? Are you going to live the life understanding that the power of transparency? Because when you do, when you do, all of a sudden, your life, your health, your happiness, your relationship, your wealth will change. And it will go up to the very next level. I love you and thank you.